Nanyang Technological University is a um, public institution in Singapore. It's uh, really considered one of the fastest rising universities in the world. I realized there's something special going on at NTU. I heard about the dynamic research environment here and all of the international scholars that have come here to pursue research. And I realized now is the right time to, to move to Asia and really take advantage of the opportunities at hand. In the School of Material Science and Engineering, we focus a lot on research and innovation. Apart from promoting cutting-edge research, our aim is also to have uh, entrepreneurship, to cultivate uh, innovation, as well as to push towards a commercialization of our research ideas. CREATE is an acronym for the Campus for Research Excellence and Technological Enterprise. This is an entity that promotes international collaboration between local universities in Singapore and research powerhouses in the world wide. In that program, we've been able to secure two grants, uh, one of which is on uh, regenerative medicine, and the second one is on treating water in various ways, uh, remediation of water, as well as for energy conversion. Regenerative medicine is really uh, a term used to describe efforts to grow new tissue to replace diseased or defunct tissue. So in that light, there is a lot of activity worldwide, but within our department, the focus is on using materials in a novel way to help differentiate cells into the type of cells we want in the body. Energy and water are two areas that are a huge concern for Singapore. In the energy efficiency and uh, energy um, harvesting, we focus on solar cells, electrochromics, thermochromics, electrocaloric, as well as magnetocaloric effects. On the water uh, remediation, the focus is on water sensing as well as using microbial technology for detection and uh, analysis of water contamination. Perhaps one of the little advertised parts of our program is that we send more or less 75% of our students for attachments abroad during their period of study here. I've received quality education through NTU's holistic approach to teaching, an international exposure that saw me immersed in different cultures where I spent two months at Yongsei University in Korea and six months at Ling Shopping University in Sweden. All these overseas exchanges have made my four years unforgettable and have definitely given me a competitive edge for my future career. In my case, I've been working closely with Lebrov University, one of the top sport research universities in the world, and my job is to create a device to help to analyze the performance of their sportsmen. And I'm very sure this will be a very big win-win situation for both of these universities. One of the most important industrial collaborations that I've had the privilege to participate in during my time at NTU has been an antiviral drug discovery effort together with Roche. Roche is a giant biopharmaceutical company based in Switzerland, and we're together working to discover new inhibitors against hepatitis C virus. We are truly exposing our students to the global research place so that when they, are, when they finish their education, they will truly be global citizens and they know exactly what is the state of the art in material science. The mission of the school is to really educate and train material scientists for the economy of tomorrow. But for the future, we'll also be training researchers who perhaps will go on to start their own companies or become researchers in their own right. For my business, it actually came about as um, it's a part of a coursework that I have during my undergraduate study here in MSE. Um, and what, how it comes about is actually it's a um, business proposal that we are supposed to submit for this particular coursework. And what we have, we have came up is a colour-changing milk bottle that has a special coating on the milk bottle itself that actually changes colour according to temperature. Uh, what are trendy these days in science is doing multidisciplinary research. I think in my lab we're really trying to do that at, like first hand. We have really molecular biologists, biochemists, we have chemists, we have biophysicists, we have metallurgists all working together and then we really really try to combine all those people together. Of all the materials that we know today, um, of all the materials that can be created, can be designed, we actually know and only about no more than 10%. 90% of new material or material system has yet to be discovered. 
So if I was a, a graduate student, I would really be looking at doing a PhD in material science and engineering. We are establishing a global presence right now. So in the next five years, we hope to be the leading material science department in Asia, and probably in the next 10 years, one of the leading ones across the world.